Hello internet, welcome back to our golf scenario playthrough. In the last episode we went up, I believe, it's it's been several days since I played, I believe we went up to loot some houses far to the north, but we came across quite a few more triffids, including some triffid queens, which are, as far as I know, pretty dangerous and we don't really want to mess with them. So, we drove our vehicle back to our temporary base and we're really just focusing on getting that in a position where we can move out of this town. Now we are hindered, as we discussed previously, uh, because we don't have a real mechanic skill. My, my throat, I'm very gravelly today. Um, so we've been pulling out these car seats and we want to put in cargo spaces, but we don't have the skills or the tools required to do so. So it's looking like we're going to have to put boxes in there and it's really not going to be enough to fit all of our equipment. So we're just going to take the important stuff when we go, I think, and we're going to leave a lot of the food and Stuff that's really readily available behind. But that's what we need to be focusing on. We need to get out of this town because currently we've explored most of the stuff that we would want to explore in the area. And there's not much left for us here without having to deal continually with the triffids. So, oh, yeah, we need to move out of this town. The longer we stay here, the less we're going to get done because we're not getting new items. We're not, you know, finding the books that we need. We're not expanding and we're just sort of going to stagnate. So we want to get out of here as quickly as possible. I do see that we are tired. Oh, and I see that we have a new sidebar implemented here. So we talked about this either in this series or in the Experimental Cataclysm series. Uh, Sim, another simulacrum, was working on putting a weary display on the sidebar. So we can see that here at the bottom. I don't know if I like that in that position. I, I'm probably, I bet you can move it. Can we move weariness up? We can. So let's put this under... So right above lighting. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. I like having the mini map at the bottom of the screen. So that's nice. Uh, you can collapse the mini map with capital N if you didn't know that. Yeah, I like that better up here. Um, it doesn't seem to have a serious impact on the log size. So that's pretty good. Uh, I already have a very small log because I scale everything up. But anyway, so we have this weariness now. It not only displays what weariness you currently have, but it will also sh show you how close you are to trim. Oh, words. It shows you how close you are to transitioning to the next level of weariness. So it looks like we're quite weary. I'm not really sure why. That may have been... Did I don't think we did fight Triffids in the last episode. I bet we were working on mechanics. So we probably did spend all day working on crafting and things. So that's probably why we're weary. And yeah... Okay, so, yes, so that's where we're at. We're going to sleep here in a moment, and then, actually, it's 2 in the afternoon. We should probably work through the daylight if we're able. That way, when we sleep, we're more likely to wake up and have daylight again instead of going to bed now and waking up in the middle of the night. Because if we wake up in the middle of the night, we can't do vehicle work. So, what do I want to install on these parts? We want it to be a cargo space of some sort. So, we'll tab over to cargo. What can I put on? Uh, bike rack. No. Box requires a steel frame, has 68 liters. So that's one we can actually put on our vehicle. Can't do cargo space. Can't do trunks. Wooden box. 30 liters. That's not good enough. Can't make that. Can't make that. Mini freezer. I actually would love a mini freezer, but we, we don't have the skills to make one of those. It's funny. The freezer actually has larger storage than the box, which is odd uh i mean i guess they're both designed for storage but whatever anyway moving on tropic nope can't do that storage bag storage bag installed in a vehicle 15 liters what a weird thing that is why would i install a bag on a vehicle Stowboard can't a travoy or travois i don't know 75 liters requires a light wooden frame hmm that seems to be the best thing so far. Can't make a trunk. Bike basket's too small. Wood boxes. Okay. So it looks like the... I wish I knew how to say it. Trevois, I'm going to say. Uh, Travoy. I really wish I knew how to say things. Uh, it requires a light wooden frame. But it also seems to store the most. Which again, I find strange. Given that isn't this just like a flat space that you put stuff on? Isn't that what a, what one of these things is? So it seems odd to me that a proper box would store less than what I think is just a flat storage space. 
That said, 75 liters is the superior value and that's what we're gonna go with. So let's see about making some light wooden frames. I don't know what you make light wooden frames out of. I did not know there was such a thing. So if we go to light, we're looking for a light wooden frame. It requires cordage and planks. So even stranger, the light wooden frame, instead of using nails, just uses ropes. So that seems to be the main difference here. So the difference in weight, and, oh, li maybe light implies being flimsier. Maybe that's why it's light. Maybe it's not physically light. 8.2 pounds. So <laughs> a wooden frame is twice the weight. It requires two more planks and nails. Okay, I you know what? This doesn't really impact gameplay. So let's just ignore this for now. We're going to need some ropes, which we do have from our vehicle taking the seats out. We have short ropes. Oh, we only have two. I was going to take out the front seat as well. Let's do that. Remove this seat belt. Remove the reclining seat. Okay. So we should have enough short ropes to make ourselves one of these light. Oh, but we're going to need to make three of them, which we don't have the materials for. Okay. Well, what other... What other cordage can I use? Vines or short cordage ropes? We can look at that, but I doubt we have the real skill to make these things. It takes nine hours. Yeah, rope making is historically a really lengthy process when you're making ropes uh, without like industrial, you know, level <laughs> construction. Like if you're not making them in a factory and you're just making them yourself, it's... Uh, Pretty difficult to make ropes. You, uh, I think if you make some devices, you know, so you're not doing it all by hand. So you actually have like a, a thing that can hold the strings and stuff as you, as you wrap them. I think it's a lot easier, but still it's pretty significant. I think the easiest thing to do would be to just rip off a bunch of seat belts. So we're going to go around town and take some seat belts. Uh, future survivors might get into some accidents using these vehicles, but that's really their fault if they don't check whether or not they have a seatbelt. Back to Cataclysm. Back to recording. It's a new week. Oops, I tore something off by accident. I don't even know what it was. It was the car horn. Great. Now we have a horn. Now I just want your seatbelts, please. It's a new week. It is, in fact, uh, Sunday as I record this. It is Valentine's Day. Which has got me a little bit down, not going to lie. Um, I was planning to release the video on Valentine's Day. It was supposed to be me in AI Dungeon. And I was going to go on a date in AI Dungeon. And I thought that that would be like a fun... So this is a crash, huh? They just don't have... Oh, the seats are in the back. Okay, my mistake. We will take all these seat belts. Uh, this one's destroyed. What do you give when you're destroyed? Strings, probably. Yeah, I'll take some strings. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I was supposed to go on a date in AI Dungeon, you know, just like a normal, like, oh, we're going out to dinner. Like, nothing dirty, of course. You know, I know some people, since I've been playing AI Dungeon, sometimes people will occasionally make remarks of like, oh, you're playing that dirty game. It's like, it doesn't have to be dirty just because that's what, you know, people are using it for. That doesn't mean that's what it is or what it's about. You know, it wasn't supposed to be like that. It was supposed to be like, Oh, let's go have dinner and try to romance the AI and see if we can fall in love. And I thought it would be like a fun, like, so there's a thing in, in whenever you do anything. So like content creation or business or whatever, you have these tent pole events. Like these are things that, you know, you rely on as like some, for instance, let's say you're a Twitch streamer, TwitchCon, right? You go to a big convention that's held at a certain date every year or however often they do it. And it's like a tentpole event for their organization. It gathers people together, it sells merch, it makes money, things like that. So in content creation, you focus on tentpole events. So like around ha Halloween, everybody plays, oh, it's Spooktober, ah, and we play scary games, that kind of thing. Um, and so holidays are a good way to, to drum up some additional viewership because you can do something special and kind of interesting that you wouldn't normally do around a holiday. So I knew that... Um, you know, obviously I knew that Valentine's Day was coming and it's the same date every year, that kind of thing. Um, so I thought like, oh, it'd be fun to, to make something, you know, kind of interesting and unique that I've never done before. But then my last AI Dungeon episode um, really didn't go very well. 
That was the rescuing the president one. I got not like a ton of dislikes or anything, but I also banned a few people for really nasty comments that they left. And whenever that happens, it always kind of turns me off to a series. So I haven't gone back to AI Dungeon. I did cancel my... I had the, the more advanced um, AI access and all that stuff, and I canceled all of that. It really discouraged me. So I didn't make, you know, I didn't make the... Uh, I didn't, it doesn't have a tile. I hate that. I really hate when I can't have a tile in my vehicle. I don't even get this item, to be honest. I, I don't really see the point of this. We can't craft one as a standalone thing. I think it's literally just a flat. I'm going to Google this. Okay, so I Googled it. I can't show you, of course, because Google copyright imagery and stuff. But, like, it literally... It's not what I thought it was exactly, but it looks more or less the same. It's literally like, picture a cot on some sticks that would normally be dragged behind a horse or whatever. It's literally just like, um, what's the word for that? Like the things that EMTs have, you know, where it's just a flat bed that kind of, they pull along. It's kind of like one of those, but on sticks that you would use to transport a person or goods or whatever behind, behind an animal. So I don't really get why I guess people would make these in the game and then attach them to horses or whatever would, would make sense. Anyway, is there even a description for it in the game? How do I pan through this menu? No faulty parts. Okay, so let's move to that tile. You can store items here, illuminated. Okay, so not really any information about what it looks like or anything, but... Regardless, that's what we're going to put in our vehicle because it has the most storage. Let's, before we do that, let's just make sure that it can store items. Do I have anything in my inventory? I do. And make sure that it's not some weird thing I'm misunderstanding and all my stuff's going to fall on the floor or anything. Okay, so it does store the items uh, in the vehicle. So that that is good. Let's grab those in case we need to read before we can leave. Let's go ahead and install these other, however you pronounce these things. Um, so yeah, I bailed on that, that idea of doing something fun for Valentine's Day. It's a bit of, of, of a bummer, to be honest, to, to be on Valentine's Day. Makes me kind of sad, you know, to be alone and, and whatnot. You know, it's interesting, I actually today, well, so I'm on a, a fair number of discords at this point. I've, I've been expanding my horizons joining new discords you know talking to more people meeting a lot more people and you know i've noticed that like i like every time i meet someone online you can judge me if you want but like i've always felt pretty satisfied by friendships and relationships online especially when i was younger so like some people you know kind of make fun if you're like oh you talk to a girl online okay um, she's probably a dude or whatever, you know, people always say stuff like that, but, um, I, I like talking to people online and I'm someone who, you know, you talk to someone for like a week or two and you can tell that maybe you have chemistry a little bit, you know, and, and you're having like, you, you guys flirt with each other a little bit, you know, and then you find out like, oh, they're married or, or, oh, she's gay or, or whatever. And it's always kind of like just a, a little minor feels bad. And I had one of those recently where like, you know, I was talking to someone kind of a lot almost every day. You know, we had a little bit of chemistry. We were definitely flirting. You know, I can often misinterpret things, but like there was definitely flirting involved. And then you find out they're gay and you're like, oh, our genders don't match up. And then you just feel suddenly deflated. Kind of like, you know, like, you know, not that you were going to ever date the person or anything like that, but like, it's still a feels bad moment for sure. Time is it? 14. So I still don't want to go to bed yet. It's too early. Why don't we read some books and then in the morning, no, why don't we, why don't we sort our, let's do our vehicle. Okay. This is going to take some attention. So let's remove all of these. Let's add an unsorted zone, unsorted, and we will select all of the items in our base. So all of that stuff, save that. Okay, then we'll go out to our car. And what do we need to take with us? How full are these in the back? How much space can you accommodate? 200 liters because you're a trunk. Okay, that's great. 
All right, so plenty of space in those two. Let's assign, we're gonna take medicine for sure. We'll put medicine up front, yes. And what can we put? We'll put books on our medicine pile because these things are not gonna take up too much space. What else can I fit on my medical pile? Hmm, we'll put gun ammo, I guess. We can't possibly have that much of it. So that's, that's that. Let's put guns, because they're going to be bigger in a different spot. And we'll put weapons as well, in case we have stuff laying around. Yes. And let's stop, because I just noticed our spear is over here. What are we wielding? Pointy stick. No, that's not going to... Well, why do I have a pointy stick? Am I... Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's grab the copper spear. We'll take that with us. Okay, so we made a weapons tile as well. I don't know if we're going to be able to carry food and drink with us. What else would we even want to take with us? Medicine. Books, for sure. Weapons, guns. Tools. We need, we need a tool pile. Okay, tool pile could be pretty hefty, depending on how many tools we want. So we'll put them in both of our trunks. Oh, we 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 would have we have to do them separately, but we'll we'll make two tool piles in the trunks. That way, it can fit. Like if we have like cirque saws or anything that's really big, we'll make sure that we we fit that back there. Anyway, I didn't. I don't want to ramble about uh, Valentine's Day because most people aren't going to be seeing this until several days later, and you probably don't care very much, but. Just bummed me out a little bit, was flirting with someone today and just had that realization of like, oh, you know, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't, this doesn't mean anything. They're probably just being nice even. They probably don't even like me. And it's probably just like, uh, they're naturally flirty. You know, some people are like that. I'm like that. You know, that's something that when I was a young people, a young person, people would, would make fun of me for all the time because I was just a flirty person by nature. And people be like, dude, you're flirting with this guy. And it's like, no, I'm not. I'm just being friendly and, you know, whatever. And they're like, no, you're flirting. And it's like, well, I didn't mean to, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is weird. Let's get it. Let's get ourselves a question. In fact, I recently expanded my question list. I pulled questions from all over the internet. I even I went. I pulled some random questions from TikTok, from online surveys, just random googling. All kinds of stuff. So we have a lot more questions than we used to. And we're just going to pick some random questions. So we'll scroll through here. Click. Tell me your favorite book without telling me your favorite book. Okay. I don't know what that means. I, I'm, I'm going to interpret that as tell me what your favorite book is. But I can't tell you the title. Tell me your favorite. I guess is what that means. Um which raises an issue because I don't know what my favorite book is. I don't, I don't know for sure. I have several that I would consider like top tier, you know, some of my favorite books, but I don't know for sure which one is my favorite, I guess. Let's make a food and drink pile. Maybe we should go through manually and pick up food instead of filling it up. We should pick up anything that's non-perishable first. I mean, well, what do I even have? I don't have anything that's really non-perishable that I care about. Like all these beverages, beers and stuff aren't that big of a deal. Let me look at my food. Indefinite. That's just tea and stuff. Some of this is sealed though, right? It's all in cans. How do I see... Where's the sealed? Okay, sealed is on the right there. Hmm. But unfortunately, it's only listed as sealed in this menu. We can't see that in the pickup menu. So if I go to pick these up, oh, it does say sealed. So can I search for sealed? I can. So we're going to take all the sealed food first to make sure that everything that's non-perishable makes it into our vehicle. And then we'll just dump anything that can fit on top. Uh, until we run out of space. So let's drop all this stuff. Tell me your favorite book. What's my favorite book? Uh, okay, I'll just pick one, right? Oh, and we could do it more than once, you know, if it's like, you know, if it's fun. It sounds fun. Um, so how do I tell you? I mean, I could give you characters 
but you would probably just guess at that point and know who who the what the book is. I could tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the fa- my favorite one of my favorite scenes from the book. I'll just give you the scene. Uh, I don't know if people will recognize it or not, and I don't. <laughs> This is weird. Okay, so um, it's a long time ago, probably hundreds of years ago, and there is a little girl. She's probably, you know, I don't know how old she is at that point of the book. I'm going to guess that she, in my head, she's around like six years old. So there's a little girl. She's about six years old. She's dirty. She's covered in uh, filth like she hasn't been bathed. I don't think she's wearing shoes. I don't remember. I don't think she has shoes. She's very much not taken care of. The people who are supposed to be looking after her uh, do a terrible job. Her care, her caregivers are very bad people. And in fact, around the house, she's treated as a servant. Uh, this little girl's walking through a dark village at night. Um, it's cold. She's kind of scared, if I remember right. Um, but she's been tasked with drawing water from the well. So she's walking through town and she gets to the well. Again, it's dark. It's She's cold. Her feet are bare, I believe. Um, and she starts drawing from the well. And she tries to carry the bucket of water back, but it's very heavy and she's very small and she's underfed and all that stuff. And so she's struggling to carry the bucket back to the inn where she lives. Uh, a man comes out of the darkness and takes the bucket. He picks up the bucket in his hand and offers to carry it for the girl. They walk back to the inn together. Is this canned meat open? It is. That's bad. We want to eat that before it goes off. We're hydrated. Go ahead and eat some of this until we're full. That way we're not wasting these calories because it's going to rot. Otherwise, I'm going to forget about it. And why... Is there still food here if this space isn't filled? Oh, it is filled. Okay, well, what we can do is make another food and drink pile. Nope, that's clothing. That's not what I want. This man picks up the bucket. Um, The girl, I think, is a little frightened of him. But, because he's like a stranger or whatever. But he picks up the bucket and he walks her back to the inn. She, once they get close to the inn, she tells him that uh, she'll be in trouble if they see him carrying the bucket. So he asks her, she asks him to put it down so that she can carry it herself. She carries it the rest of the way to the inn and the man follows her inside to to the inn. So I think that is uh, uh, one of the more, the scenes that I remember from that book that I, that I pretty much liked. Uh, I don't know if that's enough information for people to to guess what the book is. Feel free to leave me a comment in the dis- you know down below. Let me know what you think the book is. Uh, it has been made into a movie. I don't think that that scene. I don't know if that scene's in the movie. I haven't seen the movies in a really long time. But um, yeah, that's probably my favorite book. Best wishes, you know. Best of luck. Hopefully, people can guess that. I don't know how to tell you what it is without revealing it for people who would want to guess. I guess at the beginning of the next episode, if I remember, here, I'll write it down. Tell them the book. So at the beginning of the next episode, I'll I'll tell you what the book is. But anyway, that was kind of, that was fun. I guess that's a lot better than half the questions we've gotten over the course of this dang old series. It's always something stupid like, What's what's your favorite animal, you know, or whatever. Uh, I do think we will pick up specifically leather gear. And we're going to leave most everything else. So give me all the leather. Leather, 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 leather. Um, We have motorcycle clothes as well, right? We have the armor. Was this ever changed to be better? I can't tell. Nope, that's the wrong button. It's the bracket keys. Um, no, it's still pretty bad. It's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not really much better than, say, leather. So, like, here we have, uh, what is this? Three, six, and nine. And if we look at something like, uh, we don't have a kilt handy, which is thicker. But if we just look at the pants here, oh, they're 150, 150, 150. 
Yeah, again, armor items did get shuffled around a bit with some updates that Kevin has been working on. If you haven't seen the uh, Experimental Cataclysm series, we talked about it briefly. So they're actually pretty good compared to the leather gear these days. So maybe we should grab those. So let's pick all that stuff up first. We'll take the trench coat again, just thicker leather you know, gear to wear. Um, and let's pick all that up for now. And then let's look specifically, that's the armor. But I was going to look for knee pads and elbow pads. So let's pick these up as well. Take the armor items, I guess, all of them. And then any clothing that we think we might want, like, long-term. So, like, a backpack is nice to have. Oh, we're out of space. Okay, let's let's drop our stuff off. And this will probably be what fills the last bit of our vehicle. We're running out of, out of some space here. So let's fill these trunks with clothing. Clothing, of course, is very large and voluminous, so it's easy to quickly fill up a... Uh, a cargo space with uh, with clothing. So this is my book pile, right? No? No books? Yes, books. Okay, drop the books here. And what else? Yeah, let's just pick up like storage items and stuff. So yeah, I guess that's probably one of my favorite books. I haven't read it in a while. It's one I used to read a lot. I have a tendency to reread the same books over and over. Like we talked about, I believe in this series, I'm listening to the Dresden Files right now. Audiobook wise, um, I really want to listen to The Expanse again. Somebody mentioned that TV show the other day. I couldn't get into the show. I know people really love The Expanse series, but like that first that first season on sci-fi or whatever just didn't grab me really very much which is a shame because I really enjoyed the books I really like the characters and they changed little stuff about the series that really aggravated me like in the very first so this is like a like a very mild spoiler like not even a spoiler in my opinion but in the very first book in the very beginning of uh sorry about that had some mic issues there uh I don't know where I'll have to put a cut in hopefully everything is is fine. Uh, I don't really remember what we were talking about. And I just basically just walked out to the car and I had an issue pop up with my my audio over here. I don't know what's going on. So I might have to make some cuts. Sometimes it corrupts my audio. I don't know why that happens. Um, No idea what I was talking about. Oh, The Expanse. Yeah, I want to listen to those books again. They're, uh, they're pretty good books. I like them. I think in the fourth book, they change the narrator, the, the reader for the audiobooks, which uh, really turned me off and made me hate that book because the guy who, like, you know, you get used to listening to the same person give, uh, like, I'm listening to the Dresden Files. Basically, every book is the same guy reading it. So, like, the main character's voice is always basically the same. In The Expanse, they shifted to a different reader partway through the series and then went back to the original after that. But for the book where he's not the same guy, the voices are all different. So it just sounds completely different. And you get in your head like, this is what the characters sound like. And then someone new comes in and you're like, who's talking? Which character is this? You know? And it really annoys me. But I listen to and read the same books over and over and over. Once I like a book, it's pretty much in the circulation for the rest of time. So there's that. Okay, and now we can grab miscellaneous extra crap that we want to take with us. Oh, there's vegetable salad. Why didn't you get sorted? Why didn't you get sorted into the food? I like salad. We're going to take the salad with us in plastic Tupperware. Um, but this is our chance to pick up random other stuff. Um, like we could take some detergent, but I think we have soap. So we're going to take stuff like duct tape. And take the copper, I guess. Oh, we didn't take the soap. We will take soap. Copper wire. I would like to take some of these tailoring things. The problem is that they take up so, so much space. I like to pick up, uh, you know, 500 scraps of felt or whatever. It takes up quite a, quite a bit of space. We'll take some random batteries. I wish we had more. I wish we had, like, medium batteries and things, but that's okay. Take the strings. Definitely take the more duct tape. Don't really need the scrap copper. Take the solder, 100%. Uh, solder is one of those things. If you can't find it, it will drive you insane. And we'll take the buttons because I think taking buttons will be 
four liters that's not terrible maybe we should take all the tailoring stuff with us because if we're going to need it in the future we're going to hate ourselves if we don't take it with us so let's just go dump this stuff and we're kind of our vehicle like i said is kind of a messed up position because we're trying to manage space and different tiles once we get to our base we'll take everything out of our car of course once we settle someplace new and we will have a lot more uh, freedom at that point because we can, you know, start expanding in the town and gradually grow to to build ourselves a proper death mobile. Man, 50, 50 liters, huh? Cotton sheets. Yeah, it's like 40 liters of felt. Give me 500 of them. Still too much. 500? Okay. Let's just take it. doesn't matter. Let's just put it all in the trunk. Because if we get to a point in the future where we want a tailor and we end up having to look for this stuff, we're gonna hate ourselves for leaving this behind. Cause we'll be like, oh, I don't have freaking sheets and it takes six hours to disassemble, you know, clothes into sheets or whatever. We might as well take it. Give me the buttons, give me the Lycra, why not? Zippers, sure, sure, everyone likes a zipper, I guess. We will leave the rags. There, there's something that can be easily sourced. Take the zippers, buttons, all that good stuff. I don't need a canteen. I guess we'll take the wallets, because why not? Because I'm a loot goblin. We'll take the IFAC. Uh, anything else? Anything else we really want? Linkages? No. We did put ammo in the car, so we don't have to worry about ammo. Yeah, I think we mostly have packed up our base. How are you doing space-wise? You're perfectly fine. So those trunks are uh, a little bit did a little bit better than I expected. I thought they would be really struggling to contain all of this, but we actually have plenty of space. So, anything else? What are you? Copper? Absolutely, we'll take that. Um, take the leather, I'm not sure why it's on this pile. Bondage suit? No, you're, you're oh, you are leather. Yes, we'll take, we'll take that. Union suit? Is cotton? No. Take all this, check this pile. We already did check this pile. Do we have any other backpacks? No leather backpacks, any like big, big stuff? No, it doesn't look like it. Work pants, not very protective. Take the gloves, I guess. Transitions, corrective lenses. No, I'm okay. Take the extra t-shirts always, just so we can keep putting on t-shirts. And then we have miscellaneous goods here. I think we're good. I think we finished packing up our vehicle. I know that probably wasn't fun to watch. It is one of the more tedious aspects of Cataclysm is uh, sorting all your stuff all the time and trying, especially when you're in this position where you have to move and you're not really prepared to move with vehicle work and stuff. We do have that open spot here where zombies can congregate if we decide to hit them with our vehicle, but yeah, and we do have the broken tiles. Unfortunately, they don't have a tile. So I guess uh, looks like is not good enough. People don't add looks like when they should. Anyway, I think that's good. You know what? Let's call the episode here. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully you had a good time. I'll be back in the future with more Cataclysm, and I'll let you know what my favorite book is as described in this episode. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I will not confirm or deny in the comments because I don't want to spoil it for anyone else. But uh, yeah, I'll reveal that at the beginning of the next. Maybe I'm hyping it up too much. It doesn't matter at all. Anyway, that's uh, going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.